the magic formula, butter, spiel, butter. And then you'll get whatever you want. I'm telling you, trust me, you will get what you want. Hi guys, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm sorry this video is a little bit later in the week. I had kind of a rough week and that is actually the inspiration for this video. I encountered a couple of situations, which I'm not gonna get into too much uh, detail about, that made me really uncomfortable and they were situations that required me to stand up for myself and say no, which for a girl like me is extremely hard to do and if you can relate, raise your hand. I'm somebody like, if you make me cry, if you like hurt me or take anything away from me or anything like that, I'm just like not revengeful. I, I don't know, I just, I'm not revengeful, I just feel sorry for myself, which sounds so dumb, but I get scolded for this all the time, and my mom always tells me, like, learn your value, know how valuable you are, stand up for yourself, and I'm like, mom, that's uh, really easy to say and really hard to do. And so I thought I'd make this video dedicated to all my girls and all my guys who are like me, who need to learn maybe how to stand up for themselves, but don't exactly know how to go about it. Um, I think I've come up with a technique that has a like worked really well for me recently and I would love to pass that on to you so if you want to know how to say no without coming across like a beep then just keep watching y'all. Now I am somebody who I, I don't know if this is tooting my own horn at all or if this is just dumb of me but I get so I'm so considerate of like other people's feelings sometimes that I let my own just get walked all over and that is really really a bad habit to have and my mom scolds me all the time about this she's like Mira you're growing up when are you gonna change like you need to stand up for yourself know your value say no if you're uncomfortable and I'm always like mom that is so hard to do and so easy to say so if you can relate to that raise your hand because I know that I can um, so briefly just to give you guys an example um, you can this can be in a relationship this could be just with your friends but um, if you're being treated a way that makes you uncomfortable or if you're being spoken to in a way that makes you feel like you don't want to be spoken to this way then um, you definitely need to stand up for yourself because if you don't let them know that this is not cool with you then they're gonna continue to do it and walk right on all over you for your entire life if that's how you always gonna be um, and that is my situation right now so um, I reflected on this a little bit um, after these experiences ha happened, <clears throat> sorry, and I thought to myself, you know, what could, like, if I talk to my viewers about it, like, what could I tell them as a way to maybe resolve this issue for them so that if they're in an uncomfortable situation next time, they can get out of it like this. And that, this is what I am here to tell you guys today. So, the program that I am studying right now, it is um, called Human Relations. I'm doing a specialized degree in that field for my bachelor's or my undergraduate degree. And it's all about intervention, conflict resolution, and just how to give, uh, or how to communicate effectively and get, give give effective feedback and that is essential when you want to say no because I feel like the word no has such a negative connotation that like if you're like no please don't do that or even if you like even if you say please like no please don't do that like the other person will get so offended like whoa what did you just say what did you just say like that kind of situation and I am really not somebody who likes to create a scene or be involved in scenes so um, like I really am just like low-key like just don't even want to be part of that so I always try to avoid saying the word no um, as much as I can and I thought to myself you know, for a long time like what else can I say like if I don't say no does that mean I just have to put up with this stuff for the rest of my life and the answer is no <laughs> you don't have to luckily the English dictionary has a lot of other words you could use and manipulate to give you the same outcome as telling someone no don't do that anymore so I'm just gonna give you guys a hypothetical situation. A lot of girls maybe you could relate to this, or guys too, I don't know. Um, but say you're somebody who is kind of more shy or reserved, or especially when you first meet somebody, you don't like let loose in like three seconds. Um, but there are some people who are very outgoing, like huge extroverts, and they're very friendly and they're very touchy-feely as they talk to you, not necessarily in like a perverted way or anything, but they're just like very touchy-feely. Um, and you know, in some cultures, um, like some cultures are just very like close like that or touchy-feely like that, and that's something normal for them but maybe you are not just you're just not used to it and that's totally cool you don't have to be okay with that if you don't want to be okay with that um, so let's say 
that you encounter a situation where somebody is behaving towards you in a way that makes you uncomfortably uncomfortable by like physically touching you or talking to you a certain way like maybe they call you honey or something like that and you're just not used to it so how do you say no don't do that anymore without hurting their feelings because that was herein lies Mira's issue I'm like how do I not hurt their feelings and come across like how do I avoid coming across like completely mean person who has no consideration of anybody else's feelings or what anybody else wants and I'm selfish like how do I avoid that at all costs so I told myself if I'd be like yo don't touch me anymore like I don't like that like blah blah, blah snap your fingers get some attitude they are obviously going to take offense to that how can I approach this in a more like objective calm less aggressive way and then I channeled my inner learnings no that doesn't make any sense at all then I channeled all my learnings throughout the first year of university and this is what I came to tell you just you have to be objective and what I've learned is um, when you want to try to give feedback to somebody without insulting them make sure you butter them up real good beforehand and that doesn't necessarily have to be like in a negative way I'm not saying a lie about all the compliments you're about to give them be honest about them so if say somebody has that really loud like really touchy-feely type of personality you'd be like yo you're awesome you probably have a ton of friends I mean I can see you getting along with so many people but to be completely honest with you like I am just that's something so brand new for me, something so foreign for me. I'm not really used to being touched um, like that or being called honey or whatever whatever they're doing to you. Um, so if you don't mind, like, I just, it makes me a little bit uncomfortable, but you're totally cool and you're so awesome at it and I'm sure that that works great for you. Like, you butter them up at the beginning, you butter them up in the end, and then you just put your little spiel in, in the middle and you're good to go, I'm telling you. Trust me, been there, done this many a times. Um, so it totally, totally works. And this works especially like if you have a group project with somebody and somebody's really bossy, like give them a com ton of compliments on how leadership, like how their like leadership skills can be so handy, but how in this situation it might be like a bit much. And then butter them up a little bit in the end too, and you're gonna be good. And I'm not even like trying to be like lied to them. Make like make them honest compliments. Like make sure it's like honest what you're saying because if if you're lying, they can see right through that and they're gonna be really offended. Um, so if you if you approach it this way, whenever you want to give feedback in a situation that you're not comfortable with, trust me, you're not going to be offending them. You're gonna be really considerate of their feelings and you're also gonna get what you want out of it at the end of the day, which is like a win-win for both people. So yay hallelujah. I mean I know that if somebody if I was like say that really like loud personality and somebody told me that like I think I would appreciate that because um, they're they are telling me how like they're not saying like you suck because you're like this. They're not saying that at all. They're telling me like how me being this way is a good thing but maybe it just doesn't work for them and I'll be totally mindful of that, totally totally respectful of that. So yes, there is a way to manipulate the English dictionary to get what you want without using the word no if you're not somebody who likes to use the word no, which is I am that person, okay? And it totally works and it'll keep you a lot safer, it'll help those around you, you know, because sometimes maybe somebody might have a habit that maybe somebody is kind of like a bit more bossy. Let's just say that they, they're really into leadership and they don't maybe like necessarily mean it in a harmful way, but they come across very bossy and you are their loved one, I'm sure that they'd rather hear it from you than hear it from some like stranger that they're really aggressive or bossy. So ultimately, at the end of the day, you're doing everybody else a favor also, and you're helping yourself out, and what more could you ask for? So I hope that this video helps some of you guys. I know that this is totally not easy, and it might take some time for you to be able to give this feedback in a natural way and not have to think about it so thoroughly, because when I first started, I was just like, I'm gonna take 10 minutes, hold on, give me 10 minutes while I think about how I'm about to give you feedback. Like how awkward is that? Very awkward, let me tell you. So after a couple of tries, it'll come smoothly, and it'll be more natural, and people are actually going to really appreciate it, and they're really going to respect you for that, and maybe, who knows, they might come to you later and be like, look, this person made me really uncomfortable, how do I tell them to stop in a kind way? And boom, you could help them out pass on the positivity. So I hope this helped you guys. If you guys want, you can leave any of your personal experiences down in the comment section below or any advice that you might have on how to give effective feedback and say no if you're somebody who like me who is like, even if the person makes you cry, like you still don't want to hurt their feelings. Um, I totally feel you if you're like that and you're okay. There is hope. Trust me. <laughs> sure hope so. Um, but yeah, so I hope this helps you. I'm going to leave now because I'm like rambling too much. I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye!